guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to show you guys the ROM that I've been running for the past week on my Galaxy Nexus. This is the Demonic Bean ROM. Uh, it is by Sparky Man of Team Haters. This ROM has been tweaked and optimized for uh, top performance. It does include the Trinity kernel, uh, which has support for overclocking. In fact, it comes out of the box overclocked at 1400 megahertz or 1.42 gigahertz. And it is very, very fast. And with it being overclocked, I've noticed that the battery life is still pretty outstanding. So the other day, I had been uh, going on my phone for about 12 and a half hours and I had 56%. I don't know if you guys saw me tweet that out the other day. Uh, but this really does hold a charge very well. Uh, it does have some other neat little customization features like a drop down uh, toggles here. This is Jelly Bean. So uh, most ROMs do not have the drop down toggles yet. Some of them are starting to come out, but a lot of them still don't have that yet. Uh, but it is here in this ROM. It does have some custom wallpapers, uh, as you can see here. Not very many. This one and, and one other. Um, and then, of course, if we click on the quick CPU overclock, you see that it is overclocked. Of course, with a custom kernel, you can also underclock it to save even more battery power. And you can also do governors as well. And then uh, there's some other things that he has done here, like he's inverted some of the applications. If we go to the lock screen and pull up Google Now, he's inverted Google Now, which actually looks pretty cool. It's all black and white. See, there it is. It's all black and white. And it looks awesome. It just really looks amazing. Everything's all darkened out there. And then if you open up the text messaging application, and we go here uh, and pull up the keyboard, that has also been themed. Uh, don't know why I must have wiped something or erased something. This should be all blacked out here. And it looks really great. Um, don't know why it's not pulling up correctly there. Let's see. Nope. Hmm. That was themed earlier. I know I updated this, but I don't know if he changed that in the update or not. Anyhow, uh, text messaging app is themed. Voice search is themed. Uh, he has a power, some power control settings here that we'll get to in a second. Awesome Beats, the Beats by Dre is included here as well. And we'll pull up the power controls. Uh, there's just a few settings that you can make here. Uh, you can go and change some of the notification settings. Now you can turn the power control on and that's the toggles there. And there's a few other things that you can do here as well. Not just a ton and ton of customization, but there are some features uh, that are included here that are worth noting. So you actually have to turn the toggles on or off by checking that there. And then there's some settings here as well. Uh, you can do different battery settings. You can actually color your battery level here so the battery meter will change colors as the battery level comes down. And there's some other settings here that you can do as well. But that's really about it for this ROM. Uh, it's really an awesome ROM, and it is been it has been very fast, very quick, very responsive. And I have noticed that it's been very, very stable. I haven't experienced any reboots or anything like that. Uh, Sparky Man has done an excellent job with this ROM, and I know that he's continuing work on this. And also, he's been doing lots of Bionic development. So if you're one of my followers that has a Bionic, check out his work. Uh, at droidmoderx.com slash bionic. I've got his stuff posted there. You can also find it on Droid Concepts or uh, Droid Hive. I know that they've changed their name to like crackflashers.com, but his stuff's there as well. Uh, but anyways, guys, we'll go ahead and install this very quickly. So you'll reboot. Oh, the framework has also been themed. How did I forget to mention that? The framework is all themed. Uh, this thing just really looks pretty amazing. And it also has the reboot menu, so you can go directly into recovery from the reboot menu that's included. That's pretty cool. So you want to head to the link in the description, make sure that you do download the ROM. And the G apps were included as well, we didn't have to flash those separately. Which is always welcomed. One less thing to worry about. So the install for this is very, very simple. All we have to do is wipe data, wipe cache, wipe Dalvik, and install the ROM. So we'll wipe, uh, factory reset, swipe to wipe. This is with twerp. You can also install this with Clockwork Mod Recovery. Uh, cache, swipe to wipe, 
Dalvik cache swipe to wipe. Then we'll just go back and install. And we are looking for the Demonic Bean, the latest version, whatever that is. And you will select that and swipe to flash. It's going to take about five minutes. When it's all done, you'll just reboot the system. Now, it does come with the stock Jelly Bean boot animation, so nothing's been changed there. Guys, that is the Demonic Jelly Bean ROM. Uh, for the Galaxy Nexus, be sure to check out DroidModerX.com for the latest in Android and tech news. Follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Stay tuned to this channel. If you're not already subscribed, make sure that you do click on that subscribe button. I'll be giving away a Google Nexus 7 device in the coming weeks. I'm waiting on a few other things to come in before I announce the giveaway. I'm trying to make this a pretty big, huge thing. So uh, be sure that you are subscribed so you'll hear that announcement when it comes. And uh, also click the like button if you like this video. It helps me out more than you know, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.